let's recap those headlines for you now. The famine in South Sudan has angered officials at the African Union. They say it is entirely man-made and that both sides in the conflict are to blame. The statement follows a declaration of famine in South Sudan by three United Nations agencies. However, conflicting reports are emerging from the Juba government. The acting food security minister has denied the claims of famine and slammed the UN for not providing proof of its claims. But the National Statistics Bureau has warned that nearly half the population will not have access to food by July. At least five people have been killed in protests in Guinea's capital, Conakry. The demonstrations have been sparked by a teacher strike. Police used tear gas to push back students armed with stones and sticks. Government centers, stores and fuel stations have closed to prevent looting by the protesters. Teachers have been on strike for weeks now, calling for a 7.5% pay rise. Iraqi security forces have made advances near the international airport in western Mosul. On Sunday, Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi ordered a new offensive to drive ISIL militants out of their strongholds in the city's western regions. And late in January, Abadi declared the liberation of the eastern side of Mosul. However, the United Nations has warned that retaking the west is likely to be significantly tougher. And U.S. President Donald Trump has named Lieutenant General Herbert McMaster as his new national security advisor. McMaster succeeds Michael Flynn, who resigned earlier this month. McMaster has vowed to protect the interests of the American people. The 54-year-old is considered a military strategist and has contributed to the shift in tactics in the U.S. campaign in Iraq. McMaster has also written extensively on U.S. military failures in Vietnam. And that's a look at your headlines.